Hello, hello, lovely ladies. Welcome back to another video. To our subscribers, thank you for continuously supporting our content. And if you're new here, hello and welcome. Our YouTube channel is dedicated to the fascinating science of healthy aging. Today, we're diving straight in with a crucial topic. We will discuss immune support and menopause, nine ways to stay healthy during the cold and flu season. So you might be asking, is it really necessary to give extra care to my immune function during menopause? The straightforward answer is yes, absolutely. As we age, our immune system naturally weakens, and the hormonal changes during menopause can further negatively influence our immune system's response. It makes us more susceptible to illness such as the common cold or flu. So if you're going through menopause, bolstering your immune system becomes even more crucial. But to understand this better, we'll start this video by talking about the intricate connection between our immune system and menopause. Now, ladies, I do want to give you a heads up because these parts might get a bit sciency. We will discuss things like antibodies, lymphocytes, autoimmunity, and so on. We will talk about words like immunosenescence, which is part of the natural aging process that looks at how our immune system naturally evolves as we age. With all those terms, you might be tempted to think, oh, this is too much science jargon for me. But I encourage you to hang in there. Understanding these concepts is not only deeply empowering, but also essential in taking control of your health during this transformative period of your life. After that, we'll talk about common disorders of the immune system, because with the roller coaster of hormonal changes that come along with menopause, it's no surprise that our immune response can also take a hit. At the end of this video, we will look into nine practical ways on how you can boost your immune system, as it is vital to give your immune system some extra tender loving care, TLC, during this critical period. So please stick with me as we navigate this together. Your body will thank you. First, let's get to know our immune system. The immune system is an intricate group of cells, tissues, and organs that work together to defend our bodies against harmful invaders. The key players include white blood cells, or leukocytes, which are the frontline soldiers in the war against disease-causing microorganisms. Leukocytes can be further divided into two main groups. The lymphocytes, or B cells and T cells, that destroy antigens and help remember previous attackers, and the phagocytes, that engulf and consume foreign invaders. Also considered as a system in its own right, the lymphatic system is also an integral part of the immune system. It comprises the spleen, thymus gland, lymph nodes, vessels, ducts, and tissues, all of which play a pivotal role in our body's immune response. This extensive network circulates a clear fluid known as lymph throughout the body, functioning as a biological sanitation department by flushing away bacteria, viruses, and waste products. By ensuring these invaders are swiftly removed, the lymphatic system helps maintain the body's overall health and well-being. Another component that technically belongs to the musculoskeletal system but plays a key role in our immune response is the bone marrow. This soft tissue nestled inside our bones is like a greenhouse for most of your immune system cells. In this tissue, the production of both red blood cells, RBC, that carry oxygen to all parts of our body, and white blood cells, the infection-fighting warriors we mentioned earlier, takes place. By producing these blood cells, the bone marrow makes a significant contribution to our body's ability to defend itself against disease-causing invaders. And last but not least, the skin and the mucous membranes, lining the mouth, tongue, esophagus, stomach, and intestines, act as physical barriers, preventing numerous harmful bacteria and viruses from entering our bodies. Now that we know what the key players are, let us discuss how they come into action by understanding how our immune system functions. 
Number one, the immune system is our body's defense against foreign or dangerous invaders. In other words, our immune system acts like a superhero, tirelessly protecting our bodies from snarky invaders like bacteria, viruses, parasites, and fungi. In addition, it's super important in identifying and getting rid of abnormal cells, such as cancer cells. Its unwavering defense mechanism shields us from harm and keeps us healthy and strong. Pretty impressive, right? Number two, the immune system can recognize a potentially harmful foreign antigen. This means that it has a unique ability to identify our body's own cells and molecules and differentiate them from foreign entities. To put it in simple terms, our immune system distinguishes what belongs to our bodies and what does not. Think of it as this. The immune system is like a mighty castle or a fortified army fortress. The castle walls, like our skin and mucous membranes, serve as the first line of defense against harmful invaders or outsiders, keeping them out. Now, inside the castle, there are white blood cells acting as knights and soldiers, ready to wage war on any invaders that breach the walls. This happens because the immune system can activate and mobilize them to attack any threat against it. Third, the immune system coordinates well with the lymphatic system. In other words, the immune system works together with the lymphatic system to ensure a swift response to any potential threat, further enhancing our body's ability to stay healthy and strong. Like secret tunnels, our lymphatic system facilitates the transport of white blood cells to where they're needed most. It is essentially our internal plumbing system, serving as a pathway for the components of our immune system to reach and attack harmful invaders. Together, they control and end the battle after the invaders have been defeated, preventing unnecessary damage to our bodies. This harmonious interaction between the immune and lymphatic system is crucial in maintaining our health and well-being. However, like any other system in our bodies, our immune system can fail to work as well as it should, or can sometimes misfire and not react as it should. This can result in a range of immune system disorders. Disorders of the immune system can be categorized into three main types, autoimmunity, immunodeficiencies, and hypersensitivities. When the immune system's knights or soldiers mistakenly identify our body cells as enemies, it leads to what we call autoimmune diseases. Conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, and multiple sclerosis are examples of this. On the other hand, when our immune system is underactive, it fails to protect us against invasions, leading to immunodeficiency disorders. This would be like our castle walls cracking, allowing enemies to enter with little resistance. Conditions such as HIV or AIDS and certain types of cancer fall into this category. In some cases, the immune system can also overreact to harmless substances like pollen or food causing allergic reactions. This is like our castles, knights, and soldiers causing chaos over a squirrel or mice that found its way into the kitchen. Understanding these disorders and how they affect our immune system is critical to finding effective treatments and cures. Now that we've discussed immune system disorders, let's move on to another intriguing topic, immunosenescence. This term may sound a bit complex, but it simply refers to the changes that occur in our immune system as we age. Just as our physical strength and agility might diminish over time, our immune system, too, experiences a slowdown, making it less efficient in fighting off infections and diseases. This gradual weakening of the immune system is a natural part of aging, and also the reason why older individuals are often more susceptible to illnesses. As we age, several other bodily systems also undergo changes that can directly or indirectly affect our immune response. When we grow old, changes affecting the endocrine system can influence the immune system. For instance, lower levels of certain hormones can result in a decrease in the production of immune cells. Aging can also alter the communication between the immune system and the nervous system which activates, suppresses, and coordinates immune responses. 
The musculoskeletal system, on the other hand, can also play a role in immunosenescence. The bone marrow, which is a part of the musculoskeletal system, is responsible for producing immune cells. As we age, this process can become less efficient, leading to a decrease in our body's ability to fight off infections. Another crucial system to consider is the digestive system. Our gut, particularly in the microbiome residing within it, plays an extensive role in regulating our immune response. This population of trillions of good bacteria and other microorganisms works in harmony with our immune system, lending a hand in fighting off harmful invaders. As we age, changes in our digestive system can alter this microbiome, potentially impacting our immunity. It's somewhat like if the castle's cooks started using different ingredients for our soldiers and knights' meals, affecting their nutrition and strength consequently weakening the defense system. Finally, we can't overlook the cardiovascular system. Age-related changes in the heart and blood vessels can significantly affect the immune system. As we age, our heart's efficiency might decrease and our blood vessels might harden, reducing the rate at which our blood can transport necessary nutrients and oxygen to our immune cells. This situation potentially inhibits their function, like when a supply line to a castle is cut off, slowing down the delivery of food and weapons to the soldiers. Thus, maintaining cardiovascular health becomes crucial to ensure our immune system remains robust and ready to defend us against harmful invaders. So as we've explored, everything is intricately linked together. The age-related decline of the immune system has profound implications for our health. It can lead to increased susceptibility to infectious diseases, making us more prone to illnesses and infections, including the prevalence of cancer or chronic conditions, as well as lower vaccination response. By staying aware of these potential changes and taking proactive steps to support our immune health, we can mitigate these risks and ensure our bodies continue to effectively fight off diseases. Right about now, you're probably asking, where does menopause fit into all this? Well, remember how our immune system and endocrine system are linked together? During menopause, as we previously mentioned, our endocrine system experiences changes as well. Hormones like estrogen play a vital role in regulating the immune system, and its levels decrease during menopause. This change can disrupt the harmony between our immune cells and other systems. Much like the change in command in a castle can cause confusion among the soldiers and defenses. As a result, postmenopausal women may witness an increased susceptibility to infections and diseases. This shift in immune function that happens during menopause predisposes women to an increased risk of health issues including, but not limited to, infectious diseases, chronic diseases, and even cancer. These risks underline the importance of immune system care during and after menopause. If we turn a blind eye to these challenges, we set ourselves up for a range of immune dysfunctions, from the common cold to more severe conditions. That's why it's so necessary to give our immune system some extra tender loving care, TLC, during menopause. It needs all the support it can get to protect us from illnesses and keep us healthy. So when we talk about giving our immune system some TLC during menopause, we are essentially talking about keeping this defense mechanism robust and active. So how do we boost our immune system during menopause? Here are nine practical and easy ways to strengthen our immune system. One, skip sugar and processed foods. Consuming high amounts of sugar and processed food can lead to inflammation in the body. This inflammation can put the immune system under stress, making it harder to fight off bacteria, viruses, and other harmful invaders. Moreover, sugar can hamper the ability of white blood cells to attack bacteria. So by reducing or eliminating the amount of sugar and processed food from your diet, you can help your immune system to function at its best. Look for whole unprocessed foods like fruits, vegetables, 
lean proteins and grains to keep your body and your immune system running smoothly. 2. Eat a well-balanced diet. To function properly, our immune system needs all the necessary nutrients, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Make sure you're getting enough of those in your diet by eating a well-balanced variety of whole foods. Some immune-boosting foods include citrus fruits, leafy greens, garlic, ginger, turmeric, and yogurt. This might surprise some of you, but our third tip is to add spices to your food. Spices like turmeric, ginger, garlic, and cinnamon are not only delicious additions to our meals, but also offer numerous health benefits. These spices are popular for their anti-inflammatory properties and can help reduce inflammation in the body. Additionally, they contain antioxidants that can support and boost our immune system, promoting overall well-being. By incorporating these flavorful spices into our daily cooking, we not only enhance the taste of our dishes, but also nourish our bodies with their powerful health-promoting properties. Fourth, stay well hydrated. Drinking adequate water is crucial for maintaining a strong immune system. Water helps to flush out toxins and keep ourselves functioning effectively. Aim for at least seven glasses of water per day and more if you're physically active or in a hot climate. Five, skip smoking and alcohol. Smoking and excessive alcohol intake can weaken our immune system, compromising its ability to defend against infections and diseases. The toxins present in cigarettes can damage the immune cells, impairing their functionality. Similarly, Excessive alcohol intake can disrupt the balance of gut bacteria, which plays a crucial role in immune function. By quitting smoking and limiting alcohol intake, we can take significant steps towards improving our overall health, restoring the integrity of our immune system, and reducing the risk of various health conditions. 6. Get enough sleep. During sleep, our body goes through a remarkable repair and rejuvenation process. This restorative phase is vital for maintaining a robust immune system, as it helps to strengthen our body's defenses. Aiming for eight to nine hours of quality sleep each night is recommended to ensure optimal health. This duration allows ample time for your body to undergo necessary repairs and recharge setting the stage for a refreshed and revitalized start to each day. Number seven, stay active and exercise. Regular physical activity can help improve our immunity by stimulating the production of blood cells and antibodies. Exercise also aids to lower stress levels, which can weaken our immune system. Eight, eat foods with probiotics. Probiotics like live bacteria and yeast play a crucial role in supporting our digestive system and overall health. Often called good bacteria, probiotics naturally inhabit our gut, maintaining a healthy balance and strengthening our immune system. When harmful pathogens enter our body, probiotics defend against them by occupying spaces in our cells where the pathogens attach. They also stimulate the release of immune cells enhancing our body's defense mechanism. Adding probiotics to our diet is as simple as consuming fermented foods like yogurt, kefir, sauerkraut, and kombucha. These foods nurture a healthy gut environment that aids digestion and boosts our immune system, contributing to overall well-being. Last, our tip number nine is to take good supplements. In addition to a healthy diet, using certain supplements can help support our immune system. In particular, you can take supplements with active ingredients, such as bioflavonoids and elderberry extracts that are known to boost the immune system. You can also take probiotics, vitamin C, and zinc to help strengthen your immune system. Now you might be thinking, I don't want to juggle so many supplements, and I'd like to find a comprehensive immune booster that also includes probiotics. You're not alone in this. Many of us prefer a more streamlined approach to health supplements, one that combines a variety of beneficial ingredients in one easy-to-take product. For instance, finding a supplement with the right balance and blend of immune-boosting ingredients that can also support a healthy gut. 
But is there really an all-in-one immune booster that's jam-packed with probiotics? The good news is your search ends here. Allow me to introduce you to the Ultra Immune 360 Supplement. Ultra Immune 360 Supplement is a unique blend of immune boosting ingredients coupled with probiotics, all packed into one easy to take product. Its balanced formulation not only supports your immune system, but also promotes a healthy gut, offering you a 360 degree approach to wellness. The core four super nutrients in the Ultra Immune 360 supplement are the real game changers. These ingredients are elderberry extract, Sambucus nigra, Echinacea purpurea extract, Citrus bioflavonoid, and L lysine. Let's delve a little deeper into each one of these. 1. Elderberry berry extract. Elderberry has been used for centuries to support the immune system, and it's no surprise why. Its high concentration of antioxidants helps fight off oxidative stress and free radicals, also known as processes that can damage our cells, which can weaken our immune response. 2. Echinacea purpurea extract. Echinacea is known for its ability to boost the production of white blood cells that are critical in fighting off infections and viruses. It also has anti-inflammatory properties, which can help ease symptoms of colds and flu. 3. Citrus bioflavonoid. Citrus bioflavonoids are powerful antioxidants that work in synergy with vitamin C, making them more effective in boosting the immune system. They also have anti-inflammatory properties and may aid in reducing allergy symptoms. 4. L-Lysine Lysine is a type of amino acid that plays a special role in the production of antibodies and enzymes that support our immune system. It also helps with collagen production, promoting healthy skin and tissue repair. Combine these four super nutrients offer a powerful defense, enhancing your immunity and promoting overall wellness. Ultra Immune 360 also incorporates the power of vitamin D, often called the sunshine vitamin. Vitamin D plays a significant role in immune health. Its primary function is to aid the body in absorbing calcium, thus promoting bone health. But beyond that, vitamin D is also crucial for immune system regulation. It enhances the pathogen-fighting effects of white blood cells and decreases inflammation, which helps promote immune response. So when it comes to improving your immune health, vitamin D is definitely your ally. But what sets Ultra Immune 360 apart from other immune-boosting supplements is the addition of probiotics. Probiotics are live microorganisms that provide several health benefits when consumed in adequate amounts. They play a crucial role in our immune system by aiding in the production of antibodies and preventing harmful bacteria from colonizing our gut. A healthy balance of gut flora is necessary for overall wellness, and incorporating probiotics into your supplement routine can help support your immune system. As an added bonus to boosting the immune system naturally, Ultra Immune 360 starts working in as little as 24 hours to support the body's natural immune response against illness, allergies, and more. It accomplishes this through a process of detoxification, eliminating harmful toxins and promoting overall well-being. And the benefits of Ultra Immune 360 don't stop there. This advanced premium formula also acts as a powerful ally for those wanting to target and melt away lower belly fat. Another added bonus benefit that makes Ultra Immune 360 unique. In fact, in just a few short weeks, 85% of people who use this supplement have reported several inches off around their midsection in a few short weeks. In other words, a noticeable reduction in stubborn belly fat. So if you're looking to support your immune system, promote gut health, and even target unwanted belly fat, give Ultra Immune 360 a try today. Don't wait any longer to give your body the support it needs. 
Click the link below to find out more about Ultra Immune 360 and how it can be a game changer in your daily health regimen. Remember, a healthy immune system is one step to a healthy you. By incorporating Ultra Immune 360 into your supplement routine, you can experience all of its excellent benefits. Take control of your health and feel great from the inside out with Ultra Immune 360. Start boosting your immune system and promoting overall wellness today. And that's it for today's talk. Please tune in to the next video where we'll talk about other wellness topics. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like. Don't forget to leave a comment and remember to hit that subscribe button to stay updated with our health and wellness content. You can also share this video on your social media accounts so that others can benefit from this information as we all strive for a healthier, happier life together. Thank you for watching. And remember, your health is in your hands. Let's empower ourselves with the knowledge to stay healthy and thrive during and beyond menopause.